introduce yes um yeah my name is rahul i am a telecoms engineer working in dubai since 2002 i want to ask a few questions coming from my background i think religion is something that following that you're safe from making um, having problems in your life yeah um my first question is i recently read a report by a doctor saying that because of marriages in first cousins in islam it leads to a higher probability of the fetuses being born uh, as handicaps yeah it increases the probability of the babies born without hands or without legs so if it was something that could potentially cause harm it should not have been allowed in islam another point to, i would like to add to the same question is recently i suffered a little bit of a bp and i went to the doctor and the first thing he said to me is that stop eating red meat which is again allowed in islam so i would uh, think that if these things could be harmful to the human body these should not have been allowed by who has created us so if you can clarify me on that the brother has two questions the first question that is talking about consanguineous marriages consanguineous marriages means marriage between close relatives in english is called as consanguineous marriages and in consanguineous marriages medical science tells us today there are high chances of genetic problems and i do agree with the brother mm. so why does islam permit that yes it's clearly mentioned in the quran in surah nisa chapter number 4 verse number 22 to 24 the woman who you can marry and the woman who cannot marry mentioned there amongst them it's clearly mentioned you cannot marry your sister and a lady cannot marry the brother it's mentioned neither the father neither the mother you cannot marry the brother of your father the ladies and you cannot marry the sister of your father that means the important close relatives are mentioned in the quran brother sister cannot marry son and mother father and daughter paternal uncle maternal uncle can't marry but as far as first cousins are concerned islam does give permission now as far as consanguineous marriages are concerned the maximum problem comes when you marry your direct blood brother and sister consanguineous marriage even if you marry your direct father daughter mother and son or your uncle the chances are also there if you marry your first cousin but it's negligible very negligible so no, it's that's not, not that's not what the report said the report said that because of marriages in first cousins not your brothers and sisters it let leads me, to this problem let and me it was from a let, let it me was published in gulf news as well actually brother, let me complete when i am a doctor ah okay fine even i am a medical doctor yeah it mean medical doctor with that doctor yeah the chances in direct relative are very high yeah if a sister and brother marry the chances are very high yeah if a father and daughter are very high you have read only one report you haven't read the other report uh, yeah so you only read gulf news i read medical books so yeah. gulf news is better or medical books is brother Right, so your better. point is your point is marrying in first cousins uh, the lesser, chances of getting lesser, problem is negligible as compared to brother and sister as compared to as, as compared, com to, compared, yeah. compared but still but still there is a brother will you let me complete my answer or sorry yeah please so you have more faith in gulf news no no not really i'm here huh? to find the, the truth sure, that's right <laughs> so what do you realize that consanguineous marriage and i agree with you i didn't say it's not there yeah so i'm not trying to beat around the bush but compared it is negligible compared to direct blood brother and sister now mm -hmm. i do agree that there are medical genetic problems in various ways but this report is there when you have continuously generation after generation according to dr ahmed sakari says the prophet said do not marry first cousins generation after generation ah, if you do it once okay. or twice it is no problem yet even if you marry not cousins also you can get a problem do you know that Yeah, yeah, that. Ah, so that doesn't mean that you stop marriage only. Right. So there is a ah. hadith which says yes. do not do it generation after generation. Yes, but okay. otherwise generally there's no problem. Right. Fine. Okay. Okay. So coming to your second question. Yeah. You went to a doctor, and you said you had high BP. Yes. Doctor said you have red meat. Yes. So why does Islam allow red meat? Yes. You know my friend went to a doctor, and doctor said you have diabetes. Don't have sugar. Brother, why do you have sugar? Right. Why don't have sugar? My friend went to a doctor. Doctor said, "Dear diabetes, don't have sugar." Brother, do you have sugar? Yes, of course. Why you have to stop having sugar? Yeah, but well, we can live on vegetables. Easily possible. Can we you can live, live without having chicken. sugar? Can you live without having sugar? Even vegetarians have sugar, brother. Yeah. Are you educated? Yeah. 
Masha Allah. The problem is that person had a problem with his pancreas. Yes. In the pancreas, there are islets of linger hand which break down the sugar. Because my friend had a problem in the pancreas, he could not break down the sugar. Therefore, the doctor said, Don't have sugar. Right. So right. you have some problem of red meat, you should not have red meat. Others can have red meat. Right. right. <laughs> the Quran right. says, a gender statement Quran says, Eat what is halal and tayyab for you. There's a verse in the Quran, eat what is halal and tayyab for you. For a person suffering from diabetes, sugar is not tayyab. So according to the Quran, a person having diabetes should have less sugar. It's a gender statement. Eat what is halal and tayyab for you. That means certain things which is good for others may not be good for you. But there are certain things which are bad for everyone. Alcohol. Alcohol is bad for everyone. It is prohibited for everyone. Pork is bad for everyone. Therefore, pork has been prohibited for everyone. What do you realize? Certain food, because of the way your metabolism is made, because it's a problem for you, doesn't mean that everyone should abstain from it. Hope that answers the question. Brother. Sure. Okay. My uh, next question is, um, Islam allows marriages, um, I mean, a husband to marry more than one wife, four wives. Is it um, compulsory to take the permission from the wife before marrying that second one? Because a lot of Muslim girls have told me that, you know, they have to take permission from the first wife, so our interests are taken care of. I hope you don't intend to become Muslim and marry more than one wife, huh? No, I don't. Because, <laughs> because there's a new law in the Indian government. If a Hindu converts to Muslim and marries more than one wife, then there's a problem. Yeah. yeah. There's a no, new I, law that's passed. I don't intend to, but I just need to find don't out. Don't intend to because... marry or don't intend to convert? I, well, I won't answer that now. <laughs> <laughs> the other the question that, is it compulsory? that the husband should take the permission of his first wife before he marries the second wife. As a general rule, because it is mentioned in the Quran that a man can have more than one wife, it is not required for a man to take the permission of first wife, but it is preferably takes permission or at least informs her. Okay. Yeah. As far as permission, certain conditions become compulsory. During a nikah, during a marital contract, a man or a woman, before they get married, they can put any conditions which are permitted. If the woman puts a condition in the Nikanama that my husband will not take a second wife as long as I live, because marrying more than one wife is optional. So if she puts a condition, then it becomes compulsory for the husband to take the permission of the wife, otherwise he cannot marry. If this is not mentioned in the Nikanama, if it's not mentioned in the marital contract, it's not a must, it is preferable.